What will happen when Japanese historical figures change through generative AI image? Also in this video, I show weird samurai portraits plus generative AI image change. So don't miss it. Anyways, let's get started and explore AI Japan history. Emperor Jinmu, the first emperor, is a legendary figure. He plays a crucial role in Japan's creation mythology and is considered the beginning of Japanese history. So let's try an AI image generation. Yo, Grandpa over there. Good? Who's that in the background? A person or an animal? So let's give the second picture a makeover, shall we? Now it's Grandma's turn, man. This is weird, ain't it? And look, on the right side of Grandma, there's just a hand. Spooky ghost picture, isn't it? And then in the top left corner of the photo, who's that with the crazy chin? Could be this grandma's ancestor or something? Well, whatever, right? Himiko was the first female ruler of Japan, known for her legendary interaction with China and overseas expeditions. Now let's see what happens when we put Himiko through an AI image generation, shall we? What? It's grandpa, man. Himiko is a lady for real. We gotta fix that, alright. Let's regroup and dive into the second one. Her hair's just exploding, man. Mmm, a near miss there, alright. Let's go for the third one, shall we? Oh, hey, looks pretty decent, I guess. What do you all think? Alright, let's move on to the next one. Prince Shotoku was a Buddhist monk who made a significant contribution to the spread of Buddhism. He has even featured on Japan's old currency notes. So let's see how he turns out in an AI illustration. Nah, dude's catching some Z's. Wake up, man. Alright, let's keep our hopes for the second one. Well, it's somewhat passable, but hold up, those eyebrows are going rogue. Is that the false eyelashes? This won't cut it. Kukai was a Japanese monk and the founder of esoteric Buddhism. He brought and spread the teachings and Buddhist scriptures from China to Japan. So what happens when we put Kukai through generative AI image? Dude looks seriously disappointed. No motivation at all in that face. I gotta step up the practice game. What's he even eating? Seriously, get back to practicing. And hold up, the plate's floating too? What's going on here, man? Seisho Nagon was a female literary figure from the Heian period, known as the author of the Pillow Book, a classic diary literature. She's celebrated for her portrayal of country, culture, and rich emotions, making her a representative work in Japanese literature. People still read it today. So what happens when we give her the AI illustration treatment? Nah, this is too much, man. It's not a wig. It's like a hair skyscraper. And there's some kind of visor thing. But it's massive. What's this person even carrying? A paintbrush? Or maybe it's a musical instrument like a flute? Ain't that a long neck? The torso looks big, too. Looks like a sumo wrestler or something, uh, don't you think? Oh, street performance, really? Why though? Is this alright? But if you look closely, dude's holding a cane, and there are flowers on top of it. Well, it's kinda cute, so I guess it's cool. Murasaki Shikibu, another female literary figure from the Heian period, is renowned as the author of 
Tale of Genji. She is famous for crafting emotionally rich romantic novels over a thousand years ago, and is said to have depicted the love life of quite the heartthrob. So, shall we give her the AI treatment? Way too many faces going on, man. What's happening here? This ain't a Japanese person, man. Wow, isn't this pretty cool? What do you think? Minamoto no Yoshitsune was an early hero of the samurai era, a military commander known for his striking looks, sharp intellect, and exceptional martial skills. He played a crucial role in defeating the rival Taira clan, ultimately leading to their downfall. But let's check AI change. Wow, this is off the charts! Why is the uh, energy level so dang high? It looks like a blast! What's going on here, man? He's rocking those glasses, looking like a samurai with a gangster twist. So, why is he grinning like that, man? Looks suspicious, doesn't it? We finally got a decent pick. This one's somewhat acceptable. The angle on that face is pretty cool, ain't it? Oh! Ojo Masako was like the shadow operative, an extraordinary woman who held the title of female shogun. She challenged the emperor himself to bring the samurai world to life, boosting the morale of the male shoguns and working behind the scenes. She eventually triumphed over the emperor, making the samurai world a reality. Now let's see what this remarkable female shogun looks like in AI illustration. Her eyes are like all wrinkled up, man. <laughs> Scary stuff. Wonder how she attaches those decorations. <laughs> this is nice, right? Check out what's in the foreground. Is it tea or a tea ceremony? Take it easy, folks. That's that Japanese hospitality spirit, Amy. It's called Obotenashi. Oh! Oda Nobunaga, now that's a super famous warlord, right? Do you all know about him? He has the unconventional samurai oddity, aiming to unify Japan. With a blend of rational governance and military might, he achieved the remarkable feat of bringing order to a chaotic era, leaving a profound impact on Japanese history. History. So, what happens when we give this great figure an AI illustration makeover? At first glance, he looks like a cigar smoking badass. But is that really a cigar? He's all smiles, which is kinda suspicious, you know? Those hands are tiny, man, and his face still got that smirk. Yasuke, he was the black samurai who arrived in Japan during the Sengoku period. He came as the bodyguard for a missionary but ended up impressing Oda Nobunaga and became one of his favorite. It's pretty remarkable how he became a close confidant to Oda Nobunaga, even surpassing other generals. Now let's see what happens when we turn him into an AI illustration. This is more like a joke, isn't it? Looks like an Indian man. That face has got that cheeky grin. Alright, next up. Someone stop this guy. He's having way too much fun. Seriously, he's cloning around. Is he even in the mood for a fight? Akechi Mitsuhide was initially one of Oda Nobunaga's favorite. However, the constant whims of Oda Nobunaga got to him, and he eventually betrayed Nobunaga, leading to Oda Nobunaga's suicide. Now let's see what happens when we put this samurai through AI transformation. His eyes are going on wonky, and he's got the short legs. But hey, he's striking a good job pose, so I guess it's all good. 
he is kinda cute, isn't it? Looks like a Momotaro. Those legs are still on the short side, and those side decorations on the head, they are long. Hattori Hanzo, he was like super unique ninja samurai who unified the ninjas and transitioned from being a ninja to a samurai. With such strength, he received a spear from the shogun and participated in numerous battles. Imagine victorious. Now let's see what happens when we turn this ninja into an AI illustration. A ninja, you say? Is this some kind of a joke? He looks like he's crowning around the man. Hey there! He's goofing around even more, right? There's a face on his face, and now there's an extra character. Who's this now? Alright, let's regroup and move on to the next one. It's an animal, man. What's going on here? Please, I'm begging you. Next, I want a cool ninja. Enough already, he's laughing like crazy. He's not in the mood for a fight, is he? Takeda Shingen was said to be number one samurai. He led a cavalry force that was considered the strongest of its time. He possessed such military might that even Oda Nobunaga feared him. Had it not been for an untimely illness, he's rumored to have been the strongest of all samurai. And here's the AI transformation result. He's got this aura of majesty and a touch of glam, right? But take a good look at the sword. Where in the world is the blade of that katana? Is he a monster? Grinning like a madman, ain't he? Yep, another monster right there. Uesugi Kenshin was another legendary samurai who boasted an astounding 97% win rate. He took on Oda Nobunaga, who had an army of 40,000, with only half that strength and still emerged victorious. Now let's see what happens when we turn this Uesugi Kenshin into an AI illustration. Oh, this one's cool. But take a closer look. Is he riding a wolf or a dog? Maybe. He looks like he's having a blast. But how many fingers does he have anyway? Toyotomi Hideyoshi. This is the general who achieved what Oda Nobunaga couldn't, the unification of Japan. He possessed the ability to read people's hearts, assembled a team of talented subordinates, and formed the uh, mightiest samurai army. Let's see what happens when we turn this uh, incredible general into an AI illustration. Yo, where is the Toyotomi Hideyoshi at? Is this a uh, mummy? All that's left is that the hat, man. He's all angry again, man. Can't he just have a normal face? Pattern on top of pattern on the face. <laughs> Here we go. Ishikawa Goemon, a legendary figure, was a ninja and a thief. He was an amazing ninja who managed to infiltrate the castle, even reaching the room of the general at the top of the castle, or to defeat Toyotomi Hideyoshi, and he has his AI illustration. Absolutely, his face is goofing off, isn't it? His face has this like, ouch, kind of vibe, you know? Here's exploring too much, man, looks like a monkey. Alright, the last one. Is it cool? This one, but the face is kinda, you know, cloning around. 
真田幸村 was a renowned military leader who challenged the Tokuga Yes who sought to unify Japan. He was famous for his tactics of building fortresses near enemy lines, luring the enemy in and then striking at the right moment. He's also known for wearing red armor. Now let's see what happens when we transform him into an AI illustration. Where's his at? He's getting splashed by the waves. <laughs> Looking cool though. This one's cool too, huh? But take a closer look. The swords extending from the back. Is the enemy trying to attack from behind? Not the time for laughing, I guess. Date Masamune was a warlord who ruled over Japan's Tohoku region. He's also famous for his fashionable black armor. Now let's see what happens when we turn him into an AI illustration. Someone's popping up from down below. Man. His face is kinda sketchy, you know? Is this guy really that tough? Oh, this one's good, isn't it? Finally, a decent picture. Next is Amakusa Shiro. He was a handsome samurai. He believed in Christianity and was known as a Christian samurai. Also, he was a renowned general who challenged the shogunate in Japan, which sought to suppress Christianity. Now, what will happen when such a beautiful young man is turned into an AI? Way too much of a gap, dude. <laughs> this is totally boomer stuff. It just seems like kinda weak, and there's no fighting spirit in it, right? Give me the uh, um, handsome pretty boy transformation, please. Oh, that's cool, ain't it? What do you think? Saigo Takamori was an influential figure in the late Edo period who played a key role in overthrowing the Tokugawa shogunate and ushering in the Meiji era and a period of modernization in Japan. Now let's take a closer look at this AI illustration. I'm digging the pattern on this face, man. It's all about the face in color, you know. Why is that? Who's that monster in the background anyway? Hey, hey, the eyes, the eyes. Dude, this is definitely goofing around. I guess this is within the limits, you know? The thing sticking out of the head is kinda weird, but maybe it's a Oni Demon vibe? Now, last but not least, we have a super famous figure. You all must know him, Sakamoto Ryoma. Under the emperor's leadership, he laid the groundwork for a unified Japan. So what's the result when we use AI for this person? Looks kinda weak, doesn't it? Can't even fight? Man, that face is all twisted, isn't it? Got a mean look. Well, it's kinda alright, I guess. But hold on a sec. What's up with those uh, wrinkles around the eyes? Alright, for the final part, let's introduce the top 10 historical figures with bizarre samurai portraits in AI image transformations as well. So let's get started. Number 10 is this dude called Kobayakawa Hideaki. He's the main character from that famous showdown called historical Sekigahara battle, but this samurai in this well-known painting, he's kinda rocking a melancholic vibe, you know? So let's switch it up a bit. Nah, man, who's that? His bold spots spreading like a wild fire, and that cap's barely hanging on. Plus, check it out, his legs looking all spidery. Alright, let's regroup and give it another shot. You got it, check it out. I'm like a magician now, for real. It's cool and all, but I'm feeling kinda like a joker from a deck of cards, you know? Next is number 9, 
Ouchi Yoshitaka. He was a samurai from the Sengoku period, but take a look at his mouth. Only around his mouth, the color has faded and turned white, right? I can't help but imagine that perhaps he was kissed around his mouth every night. And thinking about that, that is quite unsettling, isn't it? Rumor has it that he was quite fond of men. So what would happen when, if we、uh, turned someone like him into an AI? What's the deal with this? The samurai in the middle. I can't figure that's a Yoshitaka Ouchi. But who's this little dude? Cute though. And that person in the back looks like Yoshitaka Ouchi's ancestor. Like a grandpa or something. It's kinda touching, you know? Dang, <laughs> the person's got a mean mug. Their face looks all rugged and tough, and that mask in the back is giving off some serious demon vibes. <laughs> It's creepy as heck. <laughs> Why he looking like a Kakashi man? Swords up top, standing on one leg like a total boss. Well, then, let's move on to number eight. Otomo Sori. He might appear as a monk, but it said that he was a Christian enthusiast. He was a Christian daimyo, and it seems he was a samurai as well. He's a legendary figure who used to host parties every day and led a decadent lifestyle. So, what do you think would happen if we transform this person into an AI? Nah, no face, man. This ain't cool at all. Just when I thought we finally got a decent one. The, the swords are all bent, man. <laughs> What do they do with that? Number 7, Kobori Enshu, is quite the character, isn't he? He is the old man who bears one shoulder and sports a sexy look. Despite being a feudal lord from the Sengoku period, he was also an artist who excelled in landscaping, architectural beauty, and the way of tea. What do you think will happen if we turn this person into an AI? Looks kinda shady, but is he actually tough? He's got a sword, but I doubt he can fight with it. Well, let's check out the next one. Oh, yeah, total horror show, man. <laughs> so many hands. Like that Japanese Yokai、uh, 66B? You know what I'm saying? Do you all know about that? Satake Yoshinobu. Now let's talk about number six. This person is fully clad in armor and we can't even see their face. Is there a significance to this portrait? Well, this individual happens to be a famous samurai and he's actually a cousin of Date Masamune. So, shall we try transforming him into an AI? Where's the face at? Alright, let's keep it rolling. Hmm, this is like a demon king, you know? Yo, familiar with that? Alright, let's give it another spin. Hmm, looks like a cat monster or something, but I guess it's just barely within the acceptable range, you know? Now, let's move on to number 5, Yuki Harutomo. This samurai has vacant eyes, and his facial features seem to be melting away. He also has a small pursed mouth. He was a feudal lord from the Sengoku period and had connections with Tokugawa Ieyasu. This ain't gonna fly, man. <laughs> Those eyes are straight crowning. Why the goofy look? Part of the head's missing and the mouth's just wide open. What do they do with that? Continuing with the number four, Tachibana Dosetsu. Take a look at his eyes. His pupils are wide open. It's like he has an intense gaze, isn't it? He's also a samurai, but believe it or not, he was struck by、uh, lightning when he was young and became partially paralyzed. So, what do you think would happen if we turned someone like him into an AI image? Dude's got a hat on. Can't even see his face. Next. That's a full on monster, man. 
Ain't no way that's a human. Number three, Takeda Nobutora is quite a something. He's a face that resembles an extraterrestrial being and is rather intriguing. His head appears swollen, almost like it could float away like a balloon. Interestingly, this person happens to be the father of the incredibly famous warlord, Takeda Shingen. It's quite remarkable. When we transform this individual into an AI image, it turned out like this. What's up with this man? Looks like a caveman or something. Let's check out the next pick. Dude's got a evil glare. He's no samurai. Looks more like a monk now. If he's a clergy, he should sport a calmer face, you know? And number two, Hori Hidemasa was a prominent samurai who earned recognition from Toyotomi Hideyoshi. However, don't you think the portrait of this person appears somewhat hastily done? He seems to exude a sense of being drawn quickly without much care. I thought there was no people, but then within that human-shaped thing, there are loads of little people. <laughs> what with that? Let's move on to the next one. No eyes. No eyes. No eyes at all. This is some straight up horror stuff, man. I don't know about you, but this person doesn't look strong at all. Seems like they ain't in the mood for a fight. And number one. Araki Murashige. He was favored by Oda Nobunaga, and here we see a painting of him trying to eat mochi. What's caught between his lips is mochi, isn't it? Hmm, at first glance, I thought maybe he's a samurai, but it looks like he's closing his eyes. Is this guy really tough? Oh, it's a total monster. Stop it, man. What the heck is this? <laughs> so folks, how was it for you? The project where we revisited the Sengoku period with AI, we had some generals who AI fight well, and some who didn't quite make the cut right. Did you recognize any of the samurai or ninja through this video? If you have any interesting figures in mind, let us know. So well, it's time to chillax. Bye.